Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, just tuning in through our online affiliates around the world, including our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcasts. Glad you all could be with us as well. We're excited to welcome best-selling author Julie Murphy to our program today. Julie is celebrating a brand-new book that is perfect for the summer. It's called If the Shoe Fits. We're introduced to our main character, Cindy, and the great antics she goes to both externally as well as internally. We'll talk to Julie not only about the writing of the book, but also what it's like for her to create this character and what she hopes you're able to take away from Cindy's journey as well. Julie, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm so thrilled to be here with you today. Hey, the pleasure is definitely all mine. So this is a great book. It's perfect for this time. I love the fact that it's fun, but it does give us, I think, you know, a message that kind of sticks with us as we're kind of going through this journey with Cindy. How does it feel, though, Julie, for you to be able to release this book to the world now? Yeah, you know, it's really thrilling. What's what's so exciting about If the Shoe Fits is that it's a modern-day take on the classic Cinderella tale told mm-hmm. in sort of like a romantic comedy form. So it's it feels really timely and really perfect. Um, what really sets this apart is that Cindy is plus size, and that's really representative of the majority of women in the United States right now. Um, so it's it feels like just the right time. It's exciting. Yeah, and what I love, too, as we're kind of going through, and we'll talk around some of this, Julie, so we won't spoil it for those who haven't read it. We'll let them know how to get the <laughs> copy. Is that Cindy is someone who, you know, we're so used to using the phrase being comfortable in one's own skin. What I love about is that Cindy is someone who does not let people try to force her into something that, that, that she does not feel like is right for her. I love that great scene that you wrote uh, in the book where she is, you know, basically saying, I mean, to us, to her thoughts, that, hey, if you want me to be a part of this, you have to give me something that fits me. What was it like for you to give her that confidence and that assurance that she's kind of going throughout this journey? You know, it's really uh, natural for me. It's definitely a hallmark of all my books. I am a I'm a deeply self-aware person, so I find that my characters take on that self-awareness as well. It's sort of innate in me and becomes innate in them. Um, And I find it very empowering, too, for her to know exactly who she is and, you know, not only ask for the people in her life to acknowledge it, but to also appreciate it. Yeah. So how did Cindy first come to meet you? How did you first decide, Julie, that this is the kind of book you wanted to take? As you, as you mentioned, kind of a take on the Cinderella story. How did this story first come to you? Well, um, I'm really fortunate in that this is a direct collaboration with Disney Books. And so mm-hmm. they had this great idea to reimagine all of their princesses as you know these modern-day women uh, in romantic comedies. And when they approached me with this idea, they said, which, you know, which of these princesses, these classic princesses, speak to you the most? And, you know, although Cinderella is not the first Disney princess, she was always my first Disney princess. And Mm -hmm. so I I knew that, you know, as a chubby kid growing up, how much it would have meant to me to be able to see a plus-size Cinderella getting her happily ever after. Um, So that was, you know, as soon as I I heard about this idea, I was just sort of uh, taken with the idea. Yeah. Well, I think the other thing, and again, I'll talk around this, uh, Julie, and I'll let you share how much you want to. One of the things that kind of goes through uh, Cindy's journey is that she finds herself as a, as a part of this interesting project on television. I'll, I'll call it that. Um, and what I love about it, there's this one part where she basically is saying, okay, you know what, just keep in mind, this isn't real, this is reality television. And it kind of is, a, you know, for those of us who watch any reality television, you know, there's always that question of, okay, how much is this is, is really real? What was it like for you to play with that, about being able to put these people together, uh, something, again, that is part of our world these days, and to kind of see how Cindy kind of interacts with them? Yeah, so the quick rundown on If the Shoe Fits that I I believe is spoiler-free is that uh, Cinderella in this take is Cindy, and she is a recently uh, graduated fashion school student. She's feeling a little lost and in a sort of haphazard way finds herself as a contestant on a reality dating show. 
and uh, the suitor or the bachelor in some in some way um, ends up being, you know, her possible Prince Charming. Um, I'm someone who has had a great opportunity to work in a little bit of TV and film, and so getting to work in those elements was really exciting because it was something that I had, you know, knowledge to. Uh, so it was it was exciting to work that in, and also. I'm a former librarian, so research is at, like, you know, the heart of everything I love and do. And so getting to dive a little deeper into research was something I was excited to geek out over. And, you know, to me, and I'm curious as to your thoughts about this, too, because as we kind of see Cindy go throughout this journey, it seems like the biggest takeaway for me as the reader, and even though it is fun to kind of see her kind of go through these different engagements, and, and then to be able to think about love and finding love, that she understands and appreciates who she is even outside of love. Was that kind of your hope for this book as well, Julie, that she understood you know, her own power and, and the importance of loving her? Yeah, you know, that's. I think it's my hope for all of my books, that a main character can treasure and value themselves, and so because of that, they can fully find themselves in love or fully find themselves uh, you know, really diving headfirst into whatever it is that they're passionate about because they value their, themselves and their well-being so much. Um, I I truly in, believe in the saying that if you can't see it, you can't be it. And so all of my characters are are that for, you know, childhood or adulthood Julie even, so... Yeah, love that. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, is on the radio side or online. You're listening to Conversations Live. Best-selling author Julie Murphy is our guest. For this segment, we're talking about her brand-new book, If the Shoe Fits. If you guys have not gotten it for yourself, you can head over to our friends at Amazon.com or through your favorite local bookstore. And speaking of local bookstores, Julie, the world is shifting, uh, dot, 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 and things are a little bit, <laughs> I guess, back to a semblance of what we will call more normal, um, is it your hope to be able to kind of do a hybrid with this book, to be able to not only, of course, to have like what you're having, you know, right now, events that are virtual, but also maybe even to be able to meet some some of your readers in person? Yeah, we actually are doing uh, one hybrid event and then, you know, one fully in-person event with very limited capacity for, for this book tour. And it's been a year and a half since I've been on the road meeting readers. So it's really exciting, um, and, you know, I'm just excited to put, the face back to readers and to kind of engage with those people again. Uh, I miss it a great deal, but, you know, I also understand why. Yeah, got you, got you. Last thing I want to ask you about, I mean, what is it, you mentioned, of course, what your hope is with your readers, and as I mentioned, I enjoyed this read. I know those who pick it up and get into it will as well. What has that been like for you to be able to hear from readers about how much they've connected with these characters and fallen in love with them? You know, when I first started writing, I didn't realize how interactive it would be to publish books and to get this immediate feedback that social media really allows us. Um, And since then, my perspective on writing and my career has really changed. Uh, My writing has become such a relationship with my readers. They're Mm. invaluable to everything I do, and, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today without them. So uh, it's, it's really exciting, and it's always a little bit of a thrill to wait and watch and see, you know, feedback roll in, but it's always welcome. Yeah. Well, I know they're going to enjoy this as much as I did. Julie, again, everyone, Julie Murphy is our guest. Make sure you guys pick up your copy of If the Shoe Fits. And, Julie, how can our audience stay connected with you? Yeah, they can uh, find me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm uh, at and I'm Julie, and, you know, they can find the book everywhere books are sold. All right, Julie, congratulations to you again. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today and looking forward to our next conversation together. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And you as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs> 